If you are a foodie in Melbourne, this is probably your favourite time of the year. The Melbourne Food and Wine Festival back for another year. I'm so pumped. But there are so many different things to choose from, including an event that my friend here, Adrian's got on. What have you got on this year? So this year we've got the Golden Triangle event, which is Hanoi Hana, Saigon Sally and Tokyo Tina. If you haven't been to all three, then there's the perfect chance for you to hit up all three in one go. We're doing canapes at Hanoi Hana, mains at Tokyo and dessert here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now I know that you're the head chef of all three and these are three of Melbourne's greatest restaurants. Is it possible, I know it's like asking you to choose your favourite child, but to pick one dish from each that is like you have to try? Well, that's kind of hard, so... Maybe you can pick two. Okay, maybe from Hanoi Hana, the bololot. Really good, big flavour, char grilled, delicious. Uh, Saigon Sally, probably the Tiramisu's. Nice quick bite. Coffee, peanut brittle, delicious. And Tokyo Tina, probably the hanger steak. Okay, yeah, I'm absolutely starving now. All of that sounds delicious. Uh, now I have to ask you, for Melbourne Food and Wine Festival, it's really hard, so many events to choose from. What are your picks? Well, definitely going to go to Mission Street Food in Attica, two of my favorite restaurants. That, I can't wait for that. And probably the Costati Brothers Masterclass at Deacon Edge. Okay, I have to say, I haven't been to Attica either. Have you Have you eaten there a few times? Attica is one of my favourite restaurants in Melbourne and probably one of the best in the world. I think it is rated in like the top yeah. 10. What, 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 tell me something about you, that you ate there that just feels like, okay, that's why it's top 10 restaurant. They just do real simple things with all their homegrown, garden-grown ingredients. And one of my favourite dishes there was, I went on a Tuesday and it was the experimental night and we had this pearl meat that's kind of tasted like sweet and sour pork, but not. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. I was about to ask you your favourite restaurants in Melbourne, but you've kind of covered one off. Do you have another one? Uh, definitely Amaru, which is new in Armadale, yep. just on High Street. A uh, guy who did the Clayton Lawn Bowls and got famous from that and his food is delicious. Okay, that's definitely a pick to try in Melbourne. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Cannot wait to try the Golden Triangle. I don't know if that was a triangle. There you go.